The fact that Qatar appear and disappear from the maps or change the way it looks on the maps is strongly related to the sea level rise. Is sea level rise is a threat to Qatar? Is climate change is a threat to Qatar? It depends. Okay, EarthNet is a new policy center here at Qatar Foundation, and the idea is to generate policy solutions for Qatar to be on a sustainable pathway. Qatar is very important for global sustainability. First of all, it's a very small country, it's very hot and it's dry, so its challenges for sustainability are very unique. One of the biggest danger or impact Qatar would have of climate change is sea level raise. Given Qatar, the capital Doha sits close to the uh, coastal area and the whole urban population is living in Doha, it has a severe impact. If you look to the historic maps of Qatar, you will see that Qatar disappeared from the maps from 1300 roughly to 1800. And the reason for that is very simple. Qatar wasn't a peninsula. It is the change of sea level rise who turned it into peninsula over the last hundreds of years. In general, we as humans have had a huge impact on our planet. So we are destroying biodiversity, we are polluting the oceans, and we are also uh, impacting on the global climate in a very, very strong manner. If we deny these changes, if we think they will never happen, they become a threat, ignoring that our planet change make us vulnerable. The biggest stakeholder in climate issues are young people who will be inheriting you know, world or earth that will be not the same what we are seeing now it will be having more catastrophic impacts of climate change will be more visible than what we see today well if we all think uh, we can all make a difference uh, in our daily lives and we can think that what i do is not enough but if we all do it it's going to be a big difference so i think it's a responsibility and also it's our own responsibility with the future we have to try to make changes for our children and our grandchildren. Yeah.